Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, I had a comment on one of my videos from a fellow subscriber who always is like, you say title above and it's below. I, I didn't even realize that. I think on different platforms it might be different, not sure, but anyway. As you see from the title below, this is going to be a Teddy B's Ready to Ship haul. Now, let me tell you, I went in and I went in hard. I got 29 tubs and three loaves. And I think the reason why I went in so heavy in this RTS was there were so many that I absolutely loved from this pre-order list. I think Teddy B's pre-order list this time was incredible and for the RTS I wanted to pick up some more of some favorites and then there were so many that I watched reviews on that I was like I need that oh I need that I need to try that so 29 tubs and three souffles later <laughs> and if you aren't familiar with Teddy Bees, I will leave her Facebook group down below. That's the best way to learn all about it. She has two forms of business. She has her pre-orders and she has her ready to ships. Now her next pre-order tentatively is scheduled for September 2nd. And that will be a list, six to eight week turnaround time. And essentially you order anything you want, as much as you want, and she pours it. Ships them out. Whatever's left over, she lists on the website for a ready to ship, which is what this order was. Now, she also does some exclusives that she just poured extras of or exclusively for the ready to ship that wasn't offered in the pre order. I only picked up two different scents from that, I believe. But anyway, um, love the scents, love Teddy B's, and her RTSs are like Hunger Games, super fast. Add the things to your cart that you really want, check out. Now what I do is I make my list of what I want. And I notice that loaves don't sell out as quickly as like the souffles and the tubs. So what scents I really like, I know that I want loaves, put them in my cart. I add everything that I originally want in my cart once then check out. I know some people do little groups of mini orders and she does combine them, but for me, personally, if I can get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I just make one list, go as fast as I can, check out. Okay, that's what I got. What sold out, sold out. It was gonna sell out in the matter of checking out, refreshing, restarting from the beginning. That time, it could sell out then too for what was on my second list. So I just go in once, get what I want, and at the end of the day, if I get it, I get it, I don't, I don't. Ended up going in the second time for an item, which I will talk about, and then I went in on the third time just, just to look about an hour or two hours after, and there were still quite a bit of things that were intriguing to me, but I wasn't really wanting to pick up again. But I said, you know what? They're available. I've been loving Teddy Bees, and I think the reason why I'm so excited is because that te week that I did Teddy Bees with Natalie, I had an incredible week. Like, it performed well, it lasted all day, the wax is easy to cut, I love the colors, I love the combinations. I think it just ended up being a really great week for me in melting, so I wanted to stock up. I made some room, not this much room, but I did make some room, and I know that Teddy Bees just really works well for me so far in my apartment. I'm having great luck with the AC on, with the AC off. Today's a non-AC day. Um, I don't have a Teddy B set going today, but what I do have going today is really, really good. Um, anyway, so I figured I would break it down, sample the loaves, the repurchases, and then the brand new items. So I have three loaves. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14 reorder tubs and then a bunch of new tubs. So with my sample, I got a sample in I Love You to the Moon and Back. Now I have to pull up my phone because I wasn't sure what the scent notes are and it is sweet and fresh lavender, green apples, roses, jasmine, oak moss, musk, and vanilla. So okay, let's see. Now I actually screenshotted um, from Teddy B's Facebook, uh, the scent, I just searched it in the group and this post came up and it says, anytime I see a fragrance with moon or moonlight in the name, I automatically think masculine or soapy. This is neither. It is fresh, fruity, and floral with a creamy musk somewhere in the middle with an added depth. As soon as I smelled the notes blend together, the name immediately came to me. 
Oh, that's pretty. Now see, I agree it's definitely not masculine. Soapy laundry, I personally feel like it's a little bit soapy because of the clean notes and I find that like green apple, rose, jasmine, those are notes that you might find in like a higher end laundry detergent. It's very pretty. It'll be a very good bedroom scent either going to bed without being a lavender or peppermint bedtime blend, which I love that not every scent for a bedroom nighttime is peppermint or lavender. It's really, really pretty. It's soft, a little bit fruity, but has the musk and the vanilla that makes it soothing and calming. So really excited to try this. Um, I feel like this will be good like washing your sheets, cleaning your bedding, Making the bed looks really nice. Popping in fresh new wax in your bedroom just smells really great and fancy. I feel like I Love You To The Moon and Back definitely has that particular um, vibe. So really like that one. All right, I have so much wax here. Without further ado, let's get in. First up, we will start with the loaves. And the first loaf that I got is Satsumas and Linen. I have this in a tub that's about halfway gone. I got it in a loaf in my last order. I had to pick it up again in another loaf. This scent, you guys, I'm not going to rave about it anymore. Satsumas and Linen is so perfect. I came home from work yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. And I chopped off a little piece of the souffle and put it in my bedroom. It just smells so good. It's Satsuma, mandarins, bergamot, exotic fruits, and fresh linen. It sounds really, really basic, but when you blend it, the sweetness of the Satsuma that's juicy and warm with the brightness of the linen, and it's not like a way too much dryer sheets or fabric softener linen. It's a very soft, crisp linen blended with satsu like this is perfect it's so fresh and this was poured july 13th i'm gonna let this sit for next year and this is going to be like my signature scent for spring i just i love it i cannot get enough of it now this one i purchased in a tub in the pre-order and fell in love with this one again Christmas trees and cream and apple cider donuts. Now, I'm going to take this one out of the tin only because it's red on the top, so I assume it's green on the bottom. Yep, I swear. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so I talked about it before, and my tub is opposite, so it's green on the top, red on the bottom. The apple cider donuts. It's a crisp mac apple really bright really fresh apple with that cakey donut like a vanilla crumb donut with cinnamon and sugar and bright apple and then with the mix of the creamy christmas tree it just blends perfectly i cannot get enough of this so happy it's going to be a, such a great scent for christmas and i know i think i said in my last video too where she has over the hill and through the woods which is christmas trees and cream and warm apple cider they're not the same scent this apple cider donuts i like this one way more than that one i'll still melt that one obviously but this one the apple cider donut is just that is the best apple cider donut scent I personally have ever smelled. It's just, it's stunning. It's a great, rich bakery, but has enough brightness. And it's Christmassy without being like, stick your head in a pine tree. Because those are scents I do not care for. And then the last loaf I got, I didn't originally get in a loaf. I was originally going to order, and I know it's the same thing, but it's actually more, um, Tilly and Pip. So I originally had two tubs in my cart. It canceled out and only had me get one of them. It oversold and I was like, okay, that's fine. I went in on my second order and I saw that Tilly and Pip was available in a loaf. And I'm like, you know what? I loved the scent so much. I picked it up in a loaf too. Tilly and Pip I got in a sample. And this is the perfect, perfect example of why samples are so important in marketing and with business. I would have never ordered this. It is Peach Magnolia, Downy April Fresh, and Pink Chiffon. 
I don't really care for pink chiffon and wax. I've talked about it before. And it's just laundry, another laundry scent. And I know I'm like trying to expand my laundry horizons, but I have so, so many laundry scents. I'm like, okay, what's another one? Um, but the sample, oh my gosh. This is so pretty. The peach magnolia, I'm, uh, am I gonna try to pop it out? Let's see. Oh, actually came out pretty nice. Oh, this is so pretty. The peach is definitely not, I'll be honest, it's not a fruity peach. It's more of a perfumed laundry peach, which I'm perfectly fine with. I love it. And then, uh, the pink chiffon makes it body care-esque with that like rich, sweet pink candy almost. And then the downy April Fresh, this just, I slowly get to hints of like a laundromat, but I'm not mad about it because sometimes it's nice. This for spring is so pretty. And like I said, the peach, you can tell it's supposed to be peach, but it's like what a laundry company would make as a peach. Oh, so pretty. So happy to have that again. So happy to have that again. All right, now let's move on to reordered tops. All right, the first one is Michael. This I ordered in my third order. This is one that I said in my original video I really liked. Don't think I need more of, but I've been really feeling the masculine sense in my bedroom lately, and this will be perfect for that. It's vanilla birch, mahogany vanilla, and smooth marshmallow cream. I'm gonna try to run through these a little bit quicker so I can focus more on like the new scents. This is great. If you like mahogany tea koi from Bath and Body Works, oh, or their new mahogany vanilla, it is so yummy. It's very masculine, but very smooth masculine. Love, Michael. Blackberry Butter Pecan Cookies. This is one of Nicole Perry's favorites. It's one of my favorites. I bought a tub of this in a D-Stash a couple months ago, and it's Butter Pecan Waffles, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. So essentially like pumpkin pecan waffles and blackberry jam butter cookies. Fabulous, love it. This is the perfect example of blackberry jam butter cookie done right in wax because the blackberry jam butter cookie, I say before, say it always, it's like rich, decadent, buttery shortbread cookie with fresh blackberry jam. And when you melt it, it just comes alive. Absolutely love with pumpkin pecan waffles. So excited to have more of that one. Kind of bad, kind of bougie. I actually was re-smelling my order before I, the RTS. And this is like a quick, let me see if I can get another one. Strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, and vanilla sugar cookies. It's something about warm vanilla sugar mixed with bakery. It just makes it super complex, and I love that. Like, it really, it, I don't want to say it makes it perfumey, but you know how warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works has that, like, ambery note? Like, almost like a, like, just a very body care perfume type scent. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. You smell that really dominant in here mixed with the strawberry pound cake, and then the sugar cookie just really adds a little bit more bakery to it. So happy to have another tub of kind of bad, kind of bougie. Love the name too. All right, two Witches Be Crazy blends. The first one, Witches Be Crazy for Strawberry Pound Cake. Loved. I think these are so incredible that she can capture the right blend of Witches Be Crazy, which Witches Be Crazy is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla. I said it, it's like a very creamy, rich pumpkin pecan waffles with strawberry pound cake, that artificial strawberry whipped cream and pound cake that everybody loves. It's amazing that she can capture both of them so well in a blend. And then Witches Be Crazy for Palo Santo. Also loved this, and it's just Witches Be Crazy blended with Palo and you really pick up on the palo here. You really do. You get the, the nuances of the smoked smooth wood with the pumpkin pecan waffles. So happy to have that. So happy to have that. Oh, I'm so happy with this order. How many times can I say happy in this order? All right, 
Next, we have Rain and Woods. This is one that I was very impressed that I liked it as much as I did. Based on the notes, crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli, and sandalwood. And that really is what it smells like. It smells like you're walking through the woods after a rainstorm. The crunchy leaves, the dampness of the air, the ozone is thick and heavy. As much as I don't like it, it's very humid outside when this scent is like captured. Yeah, it's fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I think this will be great in like the dead of winter when you really want something more like wet, more like outdoorsy, really, really nice. The Hamptons. Fell in love. So happy she poured this one for the RTS. Watermelon lemonade type salty sea air and crisp linen. This is one I was not going to order uh, because I don't like watermelon lemonade type. But I went ahead. I did it. I melted it. I fell in love with it. If you haven't seen my empties video, I've talked about it. It's just the perfect blend of watermelon pound cake and salty sea air. But you get linen. You get linen and it's the same linen note that's in satsumas and linen which is why i think these two are so great and honestly my favorite like color combos in real life are teal and orange i mean realistically i think i might blend these in a warmer together i can't smell this but i might blend these in a warmer together and see what it does because i think it's going to be magic if you like watermelon lemonade and you like summery scents this is my idea of summer no tropical drinks for me i want something like this where it's a lot more deep and complex even though it is a watermelon lemonade scent there's so many more layers to it with the salty sea air and the linen it's so pretty it's literally what i imagine the hamptons smelling like somebody doing their laundry in the hamptons one of my scent babies, I love the Riverlands. I have loaves, I have souffles, I have a lot of this, but I wanted to pick up some more. Palo Santo Cool Mountain Air Balsam Patchouli Crisp Melon Cedar Crunchy Leaves and Sandalwood. This one is so great, and I love that she's sticking with this green with like stripes of gray, and then the black glitter on the bottom. Oh, this is so nice. You pick up on melon, that's for sure and you get spiced almost like the crunchy leaves the cedar and the patchouli are blended together to create like a like a sharp spiced scent but not like spicy like cinnamon or clove oh this is so good and this one is a great great performer when you warm it it lasts all day it's smooth it's aquatic without being like sea it's more like like a river like a wet river oh it's so good this one i think will be great in the fall i'm gonna keep this one for next fall because i find that teddy bees is perfect for right around almost a year of cure time that's where i find i get the best performance from her stuff and with that one i know it just it just transforms and i'm gonna melt that this year and fall in love with it all right these two were definite second like oh my gosh should i just go in it for these in bigger sizes because they only have souffles and i think i'll end up loving them they're palo santo blends so the first is the dornishman's wife palo santo blackberry marshmallow fireside with the slightest hint of lemon both of these that i'll talk about i liked i didn't love but i love palo santo so i figured you know let me just go ahead and give them a shot. I'm going to try to see if I can pop this one out. Uh, I don't want to because it's going to... No, nope, all the wax is going to go around. Yeah, it's so different because it's a very fresh version of like... I don't know. Blackberry, lemon, marshmallow, fire, fireside, and palo santo kind of give me like a perfume. I don't know. It's very hard to describe because Marshmallow Fireside, you get the roasty toastiness of the Marshmallow Fireside, the smoldering woods. But the blackberry is like a very tart, fresh blackberry. Palo, warm and smoky. And then a hint of lemon, bright lemon. 
I did order Palo Santo and lemon in this order, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's over here, I can see it. Because lemon and Palo just sound really interesting to me. And then we have the Three-Eyed Raven, and this is Palo Santo, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Birch, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cold Air. Okay, this is crazy. Because I just opened the bag, and I immediately am like, oh, it smells cold. It's not weird how, like, you can smell cold, but you absolutely can smell... Oh, this one's going to pop out with no rings. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is. Okay. They pop it out and smell the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay, and look how fun. This is very, like, Halloween-y with, like, the purple and the black. Yeah, it really gives you, like, Halloween vibes with the coldness of the air. And the palo with the toasted marshmallow and the vanilla birch. This really creates this mood of... I'm just going to pop this back in. It's literally getting soft in my fingers. Yeah, it's just, it creates a mood of warmth, but coolness. So, like, the warmth of the palo and the coolness of the fresh air to die for. Love. Cannot wait to melt these. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait to put these away and, like, inventory them and all that. Surfside Sweet Shop. I have a loaf of this. Absolutely love. Birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is her beach nights. Everybody loves this. I love it. It's that sweet, rich, decadent bakery blended with beach nights, which is like sea salt, s'mores, and air. Oh, so good. I could totally see walking into a bakery on the beach and this is what it smells like because you're getting the greatness of the beach and you're getting well greatness you're getting the greatness scent of the beach don't like the beach blended with the bakery so really love that and then the last one of that i ordered before is palo santo and vanilla clouds i ordered this in a souffle Wanted to pick this up in a tub. This is Palo Santo layered with icy vanilla woods and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. I've been really into boardwalk marshmallow clouds lately. And this is so pretty. The Palo Santo and the boardwalk marshmallow clouds makes it very sweet. Almost like... Almost like a really nice cologne. I, I feel like I'm getting cologne vibes from this really getting cologne vibes from it. Which I didn't realize in the first one. Maybe because Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is body care and Palo Santo I have as a cologne and blended together. It's like a masculine, warm, cozy bakery. But the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds just makes it sweet and like toasted marshmallow with a Palo. Oh! So yummy. So yummy. I, I'm i so excited to melt this one. This might be my favorite version of like Palo and Vanilla versus um, like I have the I Heart Palo Santo and then I have the Milk of the Poppy which is like Palo Santo and the Creamiest Vanilla. They're all very different. I was hoping I would like Milk of the Poppy more. I don't. I like this one the best because I like that the toasted marshmallow with the boardwalk marshmallow clouds adds like another layer of sophistication to the Palo Santo. You know, I just love me some Palo Santo. All right, let me clear this table off and move on to the new blends I ordered from this pre-order. Oh, ready to show. All right, I picked up 16 tubs, but 15 fragrances. So the only one that I picked up two of that was brand new this round was Little Pumpkin Beach Party. This is one of Natalie's all-time favorite scents from Teddy Bees. She begged her to pour it in the RTS and then it jumped her cart. So I know it's supposed to be a really good one. People love it. Hopefully it's available in this pre-order. It sounds totally up my alley. It's Beach Nights, Pumpkin Cupcakes, and Marshmallow Fluff. Beach Nights is magical and anything with pumpkin I mean, just sounds out of this world. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. It's funny. I'm not immediately greeted with Beach Nights, like I am typically with a lot of Beach Nights blends. 
this smells, now I know this is very conceptual, but it smells like a pumpkin cupcake with Beach Nights frosting. I know that Beach Nights isn't a flavor like pumpkin cupcake is, but Beach Nights smells so yummy to me that I feel like I would like to eat it. The s'mores, the toasted marshmallow, the graham cracker, the chocolate, the salty sea air. That on top of a spiced pumpkin cupcake. Wow. And then I think the marshmallow fluff just adds a little bit more sweetness to make the pumpkin cupcake not as spiced. That's delish. Happy to have picked that one up. All right, next, ah, pistachio dream sugar cookies. I realize I don't have any pistachio scents from Teddy Bees, and I've heard a lot of people say this one's really not super pistachio. So, and I feel like pistachio really overwhelms in blends. So this is a delicious blend of pistachio dream cake and our signature sugar cookies. Let's give it a sniff. Oh yeah, it's definitely not really pistachio-y. Interesting. It smells like, almost like if you had a sugar cookie, like a really good, delicious sugar cookie, but then you put like pistachio sprinkles on top. Not that there's pistachio sprinkles, but yeah, it's a very, very light pistachio blended with sugar cookie. That's interesting. I, I'm very curious to melt this to see if pistachio does come out more, but I love pistachio, don't get me wrong, but it's not overpowering in this blend like pistachio normally is, which is interesting. All right, now this one, I would have never ordered. This was in my last order from her just because it's totally not a scent I would ever pick up, but Tiffany raved about it, Sugarfoot. Watermelon, sugar crystals, honeydew melons, and birthday cake. I ordered this because, well, watermelon and honeydew, delish. I love honeydew. And then birthday cake to make a bakery. Okay, I don't love it, but it's not for that reason. It kind of, I'm not picking up much on melon. I'm picking up on watermelon, I should say, not honeydew. So I was hoping it would be very strong on honeydew. There's The next one I'll talk about is supposed to be strong on honeydew, so... Interesting. Um, I was expecting it to be more like a melon-frosted birthday cake, but I'm kind of just getting like a very sugared actual like watermelon fruit. So, I'm going to let this obviously sit and cure. This was poured in June, but I'll melt this in the summer next year. I'm not going to melt this anytime soon. But, it's interesting. It definitely smells more like, like, a, like a sugared watermelon fruit than I was expecting, like a more birthday cake. Did anybody melt sugar foot yet? What do you think? All right. Next, cleaning day. Now this I ordered strictly because of Jessica D. She literally talked about this, so I think this was literally the first scent in her video. And I'm like, sign me up. This is bright citrus notes of lemon and tart lime, sweet honeydew melon, and the smell of clean sheets. She said this was very honeydew forward. Now see, I smell laundry. Yeah. This, to me, just smells like a laundry scent. This one's coming out pretty easily, too, so... If they come out easily, I'll take, I'll take them out. Maybe I'm just sensitive to her honeydew oil. Like, I don't smell it. I smell it very faintly on the bottom, but this one's mainly, like, a, just a very clean laundry. I'm not picking up on, like, honeydew or anything. Interesting. It's really good, though. It's a very clean laundry. Almost kind of like what Satsumas and Linen's linen is like, where it's not, like, super sharp. It's just a clean, soft laundry. Huh. Okay. I like it. I was expecting a lot more honeydew. So we'll see. Definitely won't write that off. All right. I was going to do a laundry one again, but I kind of want to, like, set my nose to something different so that way I can smell the other laundry milk and cookies and lavender 
love her milk and cookies. I think her milk and cookies is some of the best blender bakery, just sweet cookie bakery scents I've ever smelled, which it's creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough. Her milk and cookies is incredible. Blended with sweet lavender. I love Tiffany's lavender. She has one of my favorite lavenders. It's so good. You really get the lavender. Like the true, like, breaking off, like, crumbling the petal, not petals, what? The buds of the lavender plant. Yeah. It's like that really true, authentic lavender mixed with the milk and cookies. And I'm telling you, that milk and cookies is so good. It's so sweet. Milk and cookies is one of the best cookie scents I think I've ever smelled. This camera is really making me mad. If anybody knows why my video is not recording 30 minutes at a time like it used to anymore, I don't know. I'm going to format my memory card after this. Hopefully that works. So, lots of cuts in this video. Next is Pink Lavender Linen, and this one is Pink Sugar, Sweet Lavender, and Luxe Linen. I love Pink Sugar blends, so I thought Pink Sugar Linen sounds really yummy. I do not like this. Oh, I do not like this. It kind of, it kind of smells like, like cat pee. Let me see. Yeah, it kind of smells like a litter box. Like a clean litter box. But like a litter box. It does not smell like pink sugar. We'll see. This was poured on the 9th, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Next. Smoke Show. Now, Smoke Show is... I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay. Marshmallow Musk, Marshmallow Fireside, and Toasted Marshmallow. Lexi told me I have to try this. Definitely didn't seem like super on my alley because just a bunch of marshmallows, but why not? Oh. Okay. It's very musk forward, which I was not expecting. Very musk forward. It's a very musky marshmallow. I wouldn't necessarily say it's like smoky, it, it kind of smells like a sexy marshmallow. Like a very sexy, sweet marshmallow. With that musk. Like if a marshmallow is going out on a date and put on a perfume. That's what I think it smells like. It's very interesting. I really like that though. Okay? Next, cheesecake cookies. So excited for cheesecake cookies. I have the blend of blackberry jam cheesecake cookies, but... I wanted to try just the plain cheesecake cookies because I loved that so much in the layered tub that I got. And this is sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. Yep, this smells very similar to like milk and cookies, but you definitely can tell this is cheesecake because it smells like true, rich New York cheesecake with a graham cracker crust. So yummy. Delish. Oh, we we'll repurchase this. Love. I feel like though, if you have milk and cookies, don't be upset that you didn't get this because it smells very, very similar. All right, trudging through. Next, we have summer circus cookies and this is strawberry pound cake blended with frosted lemon sugar circus cookies. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this is really nice. So you absolutely get lemon sugar cookies first. Definitely like a, a rich bakery lemon cookie first and foremost. But then, I'm not really picking up a lot of strawberry pound cake. Just like a very creamy lemon sugar cookie. It's yummy though. I love Lemon Bakery, so I'm sure that when I melt this, the Strawberry Pound Cake will come through. Next, was very intrigued by this one. This is Dark Desires. This is one of the more expensive ones. Cashmere Cream, Blackberries, Vanilla Orchid, and Cotton Candy Musk. I love Blackberry, and this Cashmere Cream was so intriguing to me. Whoa. 
whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I didn't really see anybody get this. This smells like a very high-end woman's perfume. Like if they wore a... Uh... Wow, okay. I need to smell cashmere cream on its own to see if that's like the base that I'm smelling. It gives me anthropology vibes. Not like the volcano candle, but like the anthropology store. Because it smells like... Like cashmere, like very high-end perfume with blackberry. That is really pretty. That is gonna be an amazing bedroom scent. Really excited for that one. Next, we have Spun Sugar. I ordered this because of Natalie, and this is Cotton Candy Clouds, Beach Treats, and Cashmere Cream. Okay, so there's that Cashmere Cream again. I don't smell the Cashmere Cream as much in this as I do in that, unless that's not what that was. Yeah, this smells just like a very, very, very sweet cotton candy perfume. I like it. It just smells like a very, very sweet cotton candy. Not my wheelhouse, so we'll see. But it's nice to go outside of your box. All right, the last four, London Fog. This is one that I've seen so many people talk about and over the years, and I don't know, I just never picked it up. I'm like, nope, I'm picking it up this time. It's $12.80. If I don't like it, I don't like it, but I'm really intrigued by it. Earl Grey tea, lavender milk, and a hint of boardwalk marshmallow. That's really pretty. Tea sets are always interesting to me because you can really smell them in blends no matter how like layered they are and you absolutely smell Earl Grey tea. Like you walk into a tea shop, that really fresh tea though, like a tea bag, and then Boardwalk Marshall and Lavender Milk kind of just sweetens it up a little bit. That's really pretty. This again screams bathroom to me. Absolutely. Pop it out. Almost. There we go. Yeah. Earl Grey tea. Boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Lavender milk. It's really pretty. If you like tea scents and it's sweet with those other notes, give this a try. Oh, really excited about that one. All right, next, another one that everybody's very intrigued by, well, I'm very intrigued by, Snowpocalypse 2021. A magnificent blend of boardwalk marshmallow clouds, cashmere sandalwood, vanilla bean, and cedar. Got some good boardwalk marshmallow clouds blends here. Oh. I immediately get boardwalk marshmallow clouds and surprisingly cedar wood. Like, like you have a cedar chest. Very, very woody dry finish cedar wood. And then I feel like those other blends, the cashmere, the seed, the sandalwood, and the vanilla bean, kind of just like intermingle, blend with it, make it a little bit more sophisticated and layered. Oh, that's really, really cool. And it's kind of funny because when you think about like being snowed in, like a snowpocalypse, you have like, say you're in like a ski house made of cedar wood and you can smell that dry cedar wood blended with the sweetness of the marshmallow and like the coolness of outdoors from all those other blends that's really pretty really excited for that one i heart vanilla beach treats Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Boardwalk Marshmallow, and Beach Night. So it's her I Heart Vanilla, which I love her I Heart Vanilla blends. And then, oh yeah, blended with Beach Treats. Her I Heart Vanilla is so yummy. It's just so really, really good, good, good vanilla. And you absolutely get that. And then with a little bit of that Beach Nights, it's really pretty. I like it. There was another one, um, what is it? I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats and then Milk and Cookies Beach Treats, I think, were the two. So I went with this one because 
I think it just sounds really good. I love her iHeart Vanilla. Her iHeart Vanilla Spiced Apples. If you see it in the pre-order, pick it up. I'm going to be requesting that. Number one in the pre-order. Two loaves right away. Love that scent. Last but not least, I'm going to try to film this before I get cut off. Palo Santo and Lemon. Woodsy Palo Santo paired with fresh Meyer lemons and a hint of sweet lemon curd. Very interesting, right? Palo Santo and lemon. Okay. It smells like, like cleaner. It smells like Pledge. And it's weird because it really smells like Pledge because Palo Santo's wood. So like when you use Pledge, you use it on wood. Interesting. I didn't know what to expect from this and I certainly wasn't expecting Pledge, but we'll see. Uh, this was poured August 3rd, so literally only 14 days ago. Definitely need some cure time. Very interesting. This will be melting in the spring next year, like March or April. So it'll have a lot, nice long cure time. But yeah. Interesting. Smells like you're polishing your furniture, literally, with a Palo Santo. Of course, it cut me off right at the end, but... Thank you all so much for watching this video. I know Teddy B's pre-orders and ready to ships are always such a fun time in the wax community. So did you guys partake in the RTS? What did you get? I'd love to know. Leave comments down below. I'll interact with you guys. Can't wait to hear. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted anytime I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. Be kind and you matter. Bye, guys.